Hi there, I'm Mark. Thanks for joining me here in my wee workshop in County Down in Northern Ireland. 2018 has been a massively busy year for the nice lady from the hardware store and myself, but as you can see, we did manage to get away on a holiday. We didn't go very far afield, we went to the very beautiful little seaside town of Ballycastle. Right here on the north coast of Northern Ireland. We only went for two days, but we did get away, and the beach wasn't the only thing that we saw. There were some lovely comments about how the Stratocaster ukulele build turned out. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I gotta admit, I was rather pleased at how it turned out in the end. What I didn't say at the time was my very, very big thanks to the American luthier, John Cawkin. I read John's article online, The Myth of Tone Woods, and I found it very interesting and very encouraging. So, on the off chance, I emailed him for a bit of advice. John replied with a very friendly and a very encouraging email. And I strongly advise you to have a look at his website, especially if you're interested in building your own stringed instruments, and especially John's advice about what he calls outlaw luthery. Basically, get some wood, saw it up, and go for it. As for the next in the series of guitar based ukuleles, well the nice lady from the hardware store, she suggested a Rickenbacker hollow body type. And Benedict from Benedict Builds suggested how about one based on a Gibson Explorer. So to both of you I'd just like to say from the very bottom of my heart, <laughs> No more ukes. No more ukes. Never, ever, ever again, no more ukes. Oh, This workshop has gotten to be a complete and utter mess. I mean, look at that scrap pile. And look at that tool drawer. Mark, aren't you ashamed of yourself? And look at the way the tools are stuffed into this drawer. I mean, come on. Aren't you ashamed? Aren't you ashamed? And as for this back room in the workshop, look at this! This is a disgrace! Look at this! How could you let anybody come in here and see this? I hope you are thoroughly ashamed of yourself. Enough already, I'm untidy, I admit it. But. I hate to throw anything away, and like every other workshop, there's never enough space. So come the autumn, I've got to find room for more tool storage and a better way to keep my scrap pile. But what am I going to do with all my junk? I can't bear to throw things away. I mean, come and take a look at this. What am I going to do with 200 odd audio cassettes? 
and 50 or 60 VHSs. Oh boy, can't bear to throw this stuff away. So here's where you come in. Have you any ideas about what I can make with hundreds of audio cassettes? Even better, what can I make with old VHS tapes? I really need your suggestions about this and I am open to any ideas no matter how loony or crazy they are. Help me here neighbours, I'm drowning! So it looks like the autumn is going to be all about tidying up in here at the very least the start of it. After that, hope to get back to some projects, have to make some plans for that, make some sawdust, have some giggles out in the workshop. You never know, I may even get to complete the Christmas present list that I started last year. In the meantime, I think I'll continue my little summer break, uh, but I will be back in late September. Until then, please do like and share, tell your friends, enjoy the rest of your summer, and God's greatest blessings on you. And for us all, of course, world peace.